Hi, today we will explain the plot of a movie called Fresh which was released in 2022. So, let's get straight to the story. One night, a girl named Noah was calling her best friend, Molly, it seems that she was nervous because she was going on a blind date with a man, she knew from an online dating app. Hearing her friend's worries, Molly encourages her and not to forget to give her news after the date was over. Shortly thereafter Noah had dinner with the man at a Chinese restaurant, but Noah didn't seem to like the man named Chad because he seemed rude and slovenly, so for the umpteenth time, Noah failed to get a boyfriend because she never met the right man. While walking home, Noah thought there was a man following her, but it turned out that he was just a man taking his baby for a walk. To relieve stress Noah worked out at the boxing gym with Molly. After finishing there, Noah returned home and opened her online dating app again, apparently, she was contacted by a man with the nickname Don. After seeing his profile picture, Noah became interested and wanted to chat more with Don, but Don turned out to be a perverted man and made Noah feel disgusted. Because the groceries in her refrigerator ran out, Noah decided to shop at the nearest mini-market, there she met a pleasant man named Steve, the man asked for Noah's phone number because he wanted to get to know her better. Because Noah also liked the man's personality, she finally gave her contact. The next day, Noah told her best friend Molly about her meeting with Steve, Molly thought that Steve might already have a wife, but Noah was convinced that Steve was a nice and fun guy. After a long wait, Noah finally got a text from Steve inviting her to meet at a bar. The night came and Noah met Steve as promised. While chatting, Noah felt compatible with Steve's joke-filled style of talking, it was known that the man worked as a surgeon while Noah was just a simple girl who lived alone without her parents. Cherries. Yeah, I'll do one more of these. Coming out of the bar, the two expressed their attraction to each other and kissed, after that they went to Noah's house to make love and release their desires. The next morning, Noah secretly took a picture of Steve sleeping next to her. While taking a shower Noah called Molly and told her about her sex experience with Steve, she also discussed Paul, the bartender who turned out to be Molly's ex-boyfriend. After the call, Noah prepares breakfast for Steve but Steve tells her that he doesn't actually like animal meat. Feeling bad for Steve, Noah stopped eating and accompanied Steve to chat, and they also danced together and had fun. After dancing, Steve wanted to take Noah to a place on the weekend. Because she was already in love, Noah finally accepted the invitation without thinking. Hearing that her best friend was going to go on a weekend with a man, Molly had disagreed because she was worried that something would happen, but Noah who was determined with her stance still wanted to go with Steve. Long story short, the weekend came and Steve wanted to invite Noah to stay at his place first. After a long drive they finally arrived at Steve's house, it turned out that he had a luxurious house located in the middle of the forest. Inside the house Noah drank a glass of wine, but apparently, the wine had been given anesthetic by Steve and made Noah fall unconscious. Moments later, Noah woke up in a room with her hands chained, it was then that the girl realized that Steve was planning something bad for her. In front of her, Steve said that he would not rape her but he would sell and eat her flesh little by little, it turns out that Steve was a psychopathic man who likes to eat human flesh, which was why he doesn't like animal flesh. In addition, Steve let her live to keep the freshness of the human meat he would sell. Knowing that, Noah became increasingly hysterical with fear, then Steve grabbed her from behind and told her to be quiet. When Steve left, Noah just realized that there were two other women who had the same fate as her. I've lost track. I was in town they were named Penny and Melissa, it seems that Steve deliberately kidnapped someone who lived alone like the three of them so that no one else would realize his loss in the community, but fortunately Noah has Molly, her best friend who always cares, Molly was seen looking for Steve's identity via the internet but the man's identity was not on the internet, her suspicion was proven when she finds out that the destination photo sent by Steve via Noah's cell phone was apparently just an image downloaded from the internet. While elsewhere, Steve was busy cutting up Melissa's thigh meat which he will sell to freaks who eat human flesh like him. After making the delivery of human meat, Steve fed Noah, but Noah asked to go to the bathroom. I need a shower. Because he loves Noah, Steve will obey her on the condition that the girl's hands will be tied and she was also prohibited from acting up. When going to the bathroom, Noah noticed every corner of the room in the house, then after seeing an opportunity, Noah rebelled and wanted to escape but unfortunately Steve could thwart her easily. Because of that incident, Steve was going to take Noah's ass meat to sell. Noah who was still semi-conscious cried helplessly when she found out that her ass would be taken. <laughs> Meanwhile, Molly visits Paul, the ex-boyfriend and bartender who served Noah and Steve at that time, it seems that she wants to find clues about Steve's true identity. Because he still liked Molly, 
Paul promised to help her by tracking Steve's credit card. After getting information from Paul, Molly continued her tracking on the internet and found out that the man's real name was Brandon Stephen. Apparently, he already had children and a wife named Anne. After getting the address of Steve's wife's house, Molly visited the next day. Meanwhile in the room, Noah reads a magazine to relieve boredom. When she sees a message from someone named Sami which basically means that if she sees her writing, it means that Steve loves her, she must seize the opportunity to escape. The message of encouragement gave her the strength to rise from the depths, Noah was thinking hard about how she could save herself. At the same time, Molly had met Anne and entered her house. Without further ado Molly told Anne what happened to her best friend, but suddenly Steve arrived. Hello. Hi. When they met the man introduced himself as Brandon. Having confirmed his identity, Molly immediately asked where her best friend was now but at that time Steve pretended not to know Noah and invited the girl out of the house. Unexpectedly from behind, and hit Molly on the head and made the girl fall unconscious. At night, Noah asked Steve to invite her to eat human meat out of curiosity, knowing that Steve immediately planned a dinner together with human meat. When he met his wife, Steve admitted that tomorrow night he would be home late because of many orders from clients, at that time and did not say anything like a submissive. Apparently, Anne was also a victim because it turned out that her leg were missing, but I don't know what happened, now Anne was an assistant to Steve who helps the man as a human meat eater. For his dinner with Noah, Steve prepared the best quality human meat, he ground the meat to make it softer. Soon the dinner began. At that time, Steve shared his experience of eating human meat for the first time, to him, it was a very beautiful taste. Instantly Steve became even happier when he found out that he was not alone, there were many other people who ordered human meat from him to eat, they also liked female meat because it tasted better. Then Steve served a spaghetti dish topped with human meatballs and special sauce. Looking at the dish, Noah ate it slowly while imagining how the human meat eaters ate it. Casually Steve told her that the dish they ate was very expensive, the meat came from someone named Hope. After dinner Steve escorted Noah back to her room. While untied, Steve was happy that Noah could join him as a connoisseur of human flesh, but after Steve left, Noah immediately vomited because she was disgusted. While chatting with Penny, Noah realized that there was a new victim brought by Steve. Though without Noah knowing, that person was Molly, her best friend. At that time, Steve decided to take Molly's breast meat to sell. One day Steve came to visit and gave Noah a beautiful dress and it seemed like Steve invited her to have another human meat dinner with a more romantic atmosphere, seeing that Noah smiled while saying that she would prepare. I love it. <laughs> the night came and Noah was already dressed up beautifully. At that time, Steve picked her up to the dining table, this time Steve served bread with special human meat. Apparently, the meat they ate belonged to Melissa. When eating it, Noah acted like a pro-human meat connoisseur. Because he was in a happy mood, Steve invited Noah to see his collection of items from the victims so far, there were many photos and personal items of women. At that time Noah was surprised to see Molly's cell phone among the collection items but she still kept her expression so that Steve would not be suspicious. Then for the second course Steve served a fresh breast steak, at that time Noah did not know that the meat she was eating belonged to her own best friend, Molly. When she ate it, Noah said it was so good that she cried because she felt guilty. Steve who understood the feeling hugged his girl and tried to calm her down. They danced together. After the dance, Steve was ready to have sex with Noah, however, Noah bit the man's penis until it was cut off. As Steve screamed in pain, Noah squirted toothpaste into his eyes to ruin his vision, then Noah rushed to save Molly and Penny. Moments later, Steve stood back up and searched for Noah, but he ended up being the punching bag of the three women. After knocking the man unconscious, the trio decided to escape as soon as possible. On the other hand, Paul actually knew the whereabouts of Molly and Noah. You are, you but he left as soon as he heard the sound of gunfire from Steve who was limping behind the girls. Oh, oh. In the end Steve was ganged up on by the vengeful girls and died after being shot in the head by Noah. When she was about to run away, Molly lost her cell phone signal, knowing that Noah decided to return to Steve to pick up her cell phone that fell in the forest. Apparently, and had come and found her husband's body, she also met Noah and intended to take revenge by strangling the girl to death. Fortunately, Molly came and hit Anne on the head with a shovel many times until the girl died. It seems that Molly had a grudge because she had been cheated by Anne before. After that, Noah and Molly sat under a tree to rest, 
Both of them were grateful that friendship could finally save their lives, they could only laugh when they realized their own stupidity. Meanwhile, from Noah's cell phone came a message from Chad, the man asking if Noah was awake that night. 